Hi folks and welcome to this video which is a new electronics project. So I'm super excited about this. Paul is making an automatic swing for this bird to perch on because it only sings its songs if it's kept moving. So Paul's going to make this swing powered by electromagnets. Yeah, we're going to try and use a couple of electromagnets to keep it swinging nicely. Already. Well, this is one electromagnet. We need we need two. They're very simple. It's just uh, some steel for the center or iron, or a soft iron bolt. So I'm just using these. They're a transformer laminations. Um, so, well, so, so you sort of tape those together, didn't you? Well, first of all, I'm just taping them together to hold them all together. Mm -hmm. So it's like a square block. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take this wire and wind about 600 turns on it. Right. Uh, join some wire to it because this is thin, so we want some proper wire joint to it. This is uh, enamel copper wire. Uh, and then cover it in some of this um, rubber tape to uh, protect it. This is an electromagnet. This is an electromagnet. We connect this to a battery or a source of power. It becomes magnetic and it'll pick things up. Right. OK. Um, so the more... so you, got, you can demonstrate this, can you? I can, yeah. So you've just attached it to some power there. It's, you've attached it to this power, this supply, power yeah. supply. So we're going to put this, a lot of power through it, a lot of current through it, and we'll see how. So this see isn't as much it. current that will be thrown no. flowing through it when we. This is about use the maximum it. you could put through it. So this is a quite heavy uh, yes. device. Let's what, see what's it made of? That device. Just cast iron steel. Cast iron. How much would you say it weighs? Oh. I'd say it probably weighs about three kilograms. Four, oh, right, okay. So let's, see, let's see if this uh, like quite heavy. So we'll... this is like a science sort of there we go, look at that. Class. Wow four, four amps going through it and it'll pick up. But we we won't be putting that much power through it. So when that was lifting that weight up, did you disconnect it from the power or was it Oh no no it was all the still, time? it's gotta be connected all the time. As soon as you right. disconnect the power, we uh, we'll show that. We'll just put a bit less of it and pick some of these little white pieces up. So So you've got less so, less, less current power going through it this time. Right. So I connect the power, picks it up. So it's only magnetic for as long as power is going through yes, it. Yes, it is, yeah. So this forms the perch part of the swing that the bird goes on I'm thinking of and it. you're going to have it. these things on the side. We just got these today, didn't we, Paul? Yeah, just a they were just great construction materials. Clothes. It's just a cane. It's bamboo. Bamboo. Bamboo, yeah, joined together. And it was sold as, like, for plants, to yeah. name your plants. Write the name on them, bang yeah. it in the ground. But they're very good construction yeah. materials as well. But it's got to be sat on this uh, magnet, doesn't it? So are we thinking of taking the magnet out? Yes. And putting it on this perch? Yeah, but you, you're thinking of actually using a pillar drill to drill yeah, well, a perfectly well, sized hole. And stick the magnet in. Yeah, glue the magnet in. That should be really good, shouldn't it? <laughs> So neat. So Paul, you've now glued two of those sticks together using these odd bit pieces of bamboo. Yeah. On the outside and the inside. And 
What's this up at the top? Uh, it's just a piece of uh, wood, the same width as the perch at the bottom to keep the whole thing stable. All oh, right. And you put a couple of screws in Just a in couple that. of screws in there, yeah. And then you put a couple of screws to the bottom of the sticks. Yep. Onto the perch. And you've also got the magnet ready, haven't you? Yes. To place it into the hole that we drilled out. Okay, so what are you going to glue that in with? Drop a Vivo stick, I think. Okay. So, Paul, you've just drawn around the top of the uh, swing. Uh-huh. And you're taking some measurements. What's that to do? Well, I'm making a bracket. I'm just uh, getting the dimensions for uh, making the 3D printed bracket, which is what I'm drawing now. Mm -hmm. uh, and this will uh, support the the, um, the swing mm -hmm. um, with bearings on either side like that. Right. So that it can swing freely. So I'm just uh, making this bracket. I'm going to 3D print it, so I need to get the dimensions. So the bracket's made and it's in situ and you've put some carbon rod through these uh, bearings, Paul. That's right, yeah. So what's next, Paul? Um, well, as soon as we're making this out of scrap material, uh, I need to make a 3D print to join this piece of aluminium tube to this plastic extension. Okay. So Paul, you've rethought driving this and you're thinking of driving it in a different way because you were going to use those electromagnets that you made at the beginning of the video. Yeah, we still might use those, um, but uh, we're going to try driving it first with a servo motor. So Paul, to do that, you, you said you need to... Uh, to couple the servo motor to this uh, black shaft, we're going to put a gear 3D printed gear on the end of here and another 3D printed gear on the servo motor which will be mounted here so that it can turn the shaft round. Right, and you've already designed the first 3D printed gear, haven't you? Yes. And that's ready to print out? It is. And here's the gear. It's a chunky thing, Paul. Yeah, that's what they call a herringbone gear. They're quite strong. And the gear, it's got to be reamed out to size to fit on the shaft properly, yeah? but the gear will go there. Right. And of course, there'll be another gear below it, which will mesh into it, and that will be fixed to the servo. And so it's fitted on this support here, and it should be able to drive the bird backward and forward. So this is the servo you're going to use, Paul. And what made you think of using the servo is because 
you've got this testing board and you said one of the programs on it will actually do to drive the wheel that's right yeah um these are just servo testers um they can make the servo go backwards and forwards sweep over about a 60 degree arc and we just happened to have one in along with a couple of servos so we thought we'd try this first i mean servos positional controls so it's not really the ideal thing to drive this swing but uh, we're going to try it because it's easy so you've got another 3d printed gear mm -hmm. that's going to go on here that's right and you've designed a 3d printed bracket yeah just that to hold. this is going to be mounted in yeah to try and hold it uh, firmly to the shaft what are you doing next well i think we'll uh, spray paint the base and stand into a nice uh, cream color and we may as well uh, box this in with a bit of uh, light constructional material just to finish it off cosmetically and maybe cut that surplus shaft off there right So that's the result. It looks really nice. I really like that colour, Paul. Mm. And it went on so well and covered so well. Nice paint. So you still need to cut that. Cut a carbon fibre shaft. Yes. And you still need to box this in. Yeah, the uh, the gears and the servo and this were already boxed in, yeah. But that's all we've got time for in this video. So that'll be in the next video. And in the next video, I'll also be showing you this. I've ordered this nest. It's an artificial nest with artificial eggs in it. Uh, it's between 10 and 12 centimetres. And what I want to do with this is put it halfway up the swing because this is going to be where my walker squawker can sit when it's not on the swing. So I'm thinking of having a nest about here. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching as always. And see you next time.